Time to play with some clay. All right, what I'm doing today is basically uh, a lot of research on my uh, computer. I think I've got an idea of what I'm gonna do, but I'm still working that out in my head with this uh, armature that I made yesterday. Um, I'm just going through photographs of uh, different, uh, you know, photographs I've taken over the years of Indian models and cowboy models and mountain men models. <laughs> And I'm just trying to get stir the imagination and stir a story up in my head that will lead me to creating a uh, full clay. And uh, right now I'm watching a video on uh, Sitting Bull's headdress and this museum, the Royal Ontario Museum, has pulled out all the clothing and uh, a, a shirt, I think, and a uh, headdress that belonged to Sitting Bull. And I'm just watching it just more or less just to stir myself in my imagination and, and, and uh, try to get myself um, into the mode of creating something. I... Uh, It takes a lot to get started on a new piece. I've kind of got an idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, I had one this morning and uh, had something to do with the wind. Um, now I know that doesn't sound like much of, an, of a uh, clue what I'm going to do, but I, I, something to do with the wind. If you've ever lived on the prairie, um, there's a lot of wind. I mean, there's a lot of wind here in Montana, um, where I live here in this valley, the uh, Madison Valley. Sometimes we'll get wind that'll kick in for about two or three weeks. And, I mean, it's just a constant wind. Um, wind is a big part of uh, frontier life. Uh, used to drive uh, pioneer women crazy, and men. Um, there was a movie made a while back. I can't remember who was in it, but it just showed what it was like to live on the prairie. And this woman was going around and picking up orphans because their family, their, their mother uh, ended up committing suicide uh, because the wind, the constant wind, the, the constant dust, uh, the dirt that would pile up in, around the house and into the house, uh, constantly cleaning uh, the dust that would blow into the house. I can't even imagine. I mean, they, these people lived out of the prairie all alone for uh, for most of their life. In fact, some for all their life. But if you came from back east and weren't used to dust, heat, and uh, the pure loneliness, uh, it could tend to make you go a little crazy in the head. I think we don't understand fully the sacrifices that uh, our early pioneers made coming out west. Now the Native Americans were more used to that type of thing and uh, so they had, and they also had uh, a tribe or a clan that they would uh, be surrounded by so they had a support system. And uh, generally, there was very little mental illness in a uh, tribal community. 
because there were so many people there to give support to their loved ones. All right, well, that's what I'm doing today. Just trying to come up with an idea for a work of art. And uh, I've got my thoughts are leaning one way, but I'm just trying not to confine myself to one direction. And so I'm trying to stir my imagination. All right. I'll see you guys next time. This is just an update to let you know what I'm doing. Good night, everybody. Go for the stop recording. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.